Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back here to Reflex GT5 Black Ops Edition. It's time for what could potentially be the last map here for Lowland Lions. Well, the last map actually for Gudakrut, because if they don't win this map, they are out of the tournament and into the placement. Yep. Which is bad. Yeah, I mean, for Gudakrut, as I was saying before, the, the thing is it's a shot for either, either team to be in this position, but they're fighting for, uh, fighting for survival here. Who's your prediction? London Lions to take it. Yep. That's, the same. that's a simple, simple, simple prediction. But I still think it is the correct one. I think it's got. It would be a popular decision as well. Predict. Yeah. Popular prediction. Um. I'm not going to go on individual predictions. I don't want to jinx anyone like I did last time. Strict to go massive at the MP5. Yeah. I think it's not really a prediction for TM Kill to go massive, is it? He's just going to go huge. Well, let's take a look at Strict regardless. What is he doing so far? He's bottom fragging. And the bomb has been uh, planted as well. So it's already looking good for... Uh, oh, teammate! Number seven and number 18. Good spot. Good spot. I, didn't, I missed that one. I saw it. I was like, oh! Number 18 of the stream. Oh, that's great from TM Kill. He knows this one in his spawn. I'm actually going to go through all the VODs at the end of the tournament and load down every single time I said one and make it like one video. <laughs> teammate. Teammate. <laughs> teammate. Teammate. Oh, TM kill going absolutely massive again. As I said, there's no prediction in that. It's just a fact. He's absolutely on form. This finally being shut down, and that's a double plan. Strix done it. Very, very fast play here from Lowland Lions. The bomb on A is going to go off, and all they need to do is defend that A. There is the huge MP5. Nice oh, time. This is what I want to see, Strix. This is better. Strict is yes, yeah, Strix. Feed the machine. Blood for the blood god. This is actually exceptional freight play from Lowland Lions. They've not only got a double plan, but they're absolutely closing down um, on X Lions. Strict is in, yeah. in trouble. Go Strict is completely dominating every single person on the Norwegian side. What a play so far! Holding it steady, on, got Strix. another one! <laughs> And there it is! The fastest demolition round I have yet to see here at Reflex GT5. Womp womp. How did Strick do in that one? Uh, I think he did fairly well. Second fragging. Yeah. Can well, they reply with the same? We will see. We will see. Oh dear God! Lowland Lions are ripping through. They good oh, at crit lineup. It is just. When I said Strip was going to go huge, I actually meant on this map. It wasn't the uh, the search and destroy. He knows. What yeah, he's doing. I'm sure. I'm sure that was the case. <laughs> I think uh, we can't. We can't really. Uh, you know, we're, we're giving so much credit to TM Kill and Strict here, but without amazing. Um, oh, yeah, without DNA, you uh, know, these, these will be the same. Without, without uh, Amazing and DNA to support these two players, uh, they would not be, they would be get outflanked consistently. The bomb has been planted on A site, and there should be a defuse coming in. Strict. Nicely done, straight getting himself a double once again. Can he get a triple? Won't be happening, but if bomb is on the verge of being defused, well done. And hey, we'll hold it off. Nate comes in just an inkling too late. Is that a. Oh, ho, ho, that's bad. Yeah, that's the. Uh, <laughs> the Summit Invisible Wall. I'm really happy that Strix actually come back from this, obviously having a bit of a, a nightmare within the search and destroy and then coming out into this and absolute blast. He loves his respawn game types rather than the S and D. They're in control really, aren't they? It's gone a bit quiet though. Somebody's mad. Yeah. Aww. It's not my fault that Good is not playing Bell. I think um, Lowland Lions are getting a little bit more confident with trash talking going on, trying to get into the head. After as well. after a, an attacking oh, round on demolition nice. like that, you should be. <laughs> okay. TM kill. Just defending for the meanwhile. Usually at this time, A is usually down. 
Let's see him kill has done an exceptional dodge. Keeping him off it. He's going for that's a double kill. Can he pick the triple? And no, he does can't. not pick the three piece, but no. look at these scores. 16 to 7 for TM Kill. Amazing with 13 to 3. That right there is a kill, the kill death ratio of 4.0. A little bit less, 3.8, but still. We're seeing no, we're seeing nothing but negative on the uh, go to crew time. And they still have they've only managed to get the bomb plant it once. This is exceptional from TM Kill. You can see he's single-handedly keeping them off that A-bomb site. Build 16 push, seconds though. remaining. Is this the end? The end, my friend. Oh, good approach. The Norwegians Angel. Are, well, if they want to plant, they have to do it now. Oh! oh! Strict! Angel's race oh, for the game. What's the going game. on? They're out. It's over. Lowland Lions will continue in the lower bracket. The Norwegians will have to play some placement matches. Unlucky, they will be going home with nothing as Lowland Lions will continue on in this series for a potential winning. Winning. Winning versus Apex or the Fariko team yeah, in the <laughs> grand final. We'll have to see how that all turns out. But what a match. Won the three in my maps, as somewhat predicted. Yeah, you're right. I'll admit it, you were right. Again. It's good, it's good to be right. It's good to be right. It's, it's good to be right. I'm glad Strick came back with, obviously, that game he was playing exceptionally well. Amazing. I didn't really uh, take into account how well he was doing. But, you know, racking up that four kill death ratio. Absolutely amazing doing that online. And TM kill uh, as well. Doing absolutely exceptional. But we cannot underestimate the strength of the Norwegian team as well. They did so, so, so well in the upper bracket before being knocked down in towards the me uh, middle as well as the lower. It's unlucky to see them go home. But again, yeah. a little bit of an offset. It is. I think uh, whoever was going to go home there was going to be really, really disappointed with yep. the tournament and their uh, their placement. Especially Lord Online's being the second seed, but they managed to battle through. I think they deserve the win overall, and uh, unfortunately, it's goodbye to the Norwegians. Well, Alex, uh, the one thing that I'm worried about, if Lord Online continues to make mistakes about picking sides on demolition like they did on Havana, mm. that could... If they continue doing things like that, then that could seriously undermine their ability to perform later on in the tournament. But we will find out ourselves. We'll be back with you very shortly, live here on Chaos TV, made possible by Medion. You're watching Reflex GT5 with Acepec and none other than VP Bro. Momo. Momo. We'll be back with you shortly.